Governor Whitmer is set to address the state today with an update on this surge in cases and vaccines. The news conference will be airing live right here on Local 4 at 10 o'clock. This comes after a continuous rise in cases with the state reporting more than 7,800 new cases in the last 24 hours alone, as well as 73 more additional deaths, uh, 43 of those from a review of vital records. So the seven day positivity rate is above 16% as of Wednesday. Now on the vaccine front, the state will launch mobile vaccine clinics in Detroit and Hamtramck. These clinics will have the capacity to vaccinate up to 500 residents per day. Due to the state's surge in COVID, Representatives Debbie Dingell and Fred Upton have sent a letter to the White House urging the Biden administration to immediately increase the allocation of vaccines to Michigan. Another number we continue to watch closely, hospitalizations. More than 3,500 people across the state currently receiving treatment for COVID-19. Yes, and these hospitals are getting close to capacity. It's getting to the point where doctors and hospitals are asking the state to do something. Nick Monticelli joins us now live with more as hospitals are making some tough decisions as well about even non-COVID patients and procedures. Right. In fact, yesterday U of M had to announce that their hospital was going to be shutting down for elective surgeries only because of their increased hospitalizations of COVID numbers. Now, as you heard, some doctors urging, begging the state to step in with new restrictions. And now with this press conference at 10 a.m., all of that could be changing. By the end of the day today, unfortunately, we expect to have over 500 patients admitted across our hospitals. On a video conference call, Henry Ford stopped short of asking the governor for restrictions despite the rising numbers. Our appeal is, and whether it comes in the form of policy or just um, uh, behavior change, is we have to stop the surge. Beaumont is nearing top capacity as well, but for now is still offering elective surgeries. So we're afraid we may reach some critical capacities next week in our intensive care units. So I do think we have another couple of weeks, but if we could stop the new infections just by social distancing, I, I think we can at least stop it from getting worse. Michigan medicine is the opposite. Yesterday, the Ann Arbor hospital said extreme high hospital rates has them rescheduling surgeries. The chief of surgery there tweeting, entire state is high risk. Bars and restaurants are open. People are out and about. No new restrictions. We need some help. The governor's office still says no new restrictions like the ones imposed in the fall, despite the worst numbers now. The governor saying the most important thing people can do is get the safe and affected COVID-19 vaccine to protect themselves and their families and help us eliminate this virus once and for all. But other experts are warning the surging cases also increases the risk for those already vaccinated. When you have such high rates, of infection as we do in the state right now uh, and we were talking about you know 90 percent effective means if you were going to get 100 cases you're going to get 10 cases of people who were vaccinated if people were vaccinated but if you have a, a thousand cases you're going to get a hundred so i think that right there is the largest concern because yes vaccination is the key to beating COVID-19. But if the cases spike and surge as they are and continues to get worse, that might be why we've got a 10 o'clock press conference today. I don't want to guess. I don't want to tell anybody what's happening, but we're going to carry it live on air so you can see at the moment we do exactly what is going to happen if there are any changes. We're live here at Henry Ford McCall, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.